Hi everybody, welcome to Terra Fan in Atlanta, and Video Game Network presents Phillies Baseball, and tonight the Philadelphia Phillies will take on the Atlanta Braves. Phillies coming off a 9-4 loss to the Braves last night, and they hope to get back on a winning track here tonight. And turn the field before going home for three, and they take on the New York Mets. Braves have taken the field for the final game of this three-game series. Phillies won the first game 7-1 behind Cliff Lee's seven strong innings. Braves won the other games 9-4. Eric Young Jr. had a big day. For the Braves, Xavier Paul had three hits in that one. Here's the Phillies starting lineup. ASC Bravero, Utley, Ruff, Beltre, Fanning, fourth in the game. They'll go against Mike Miner. Miner two and two on the season. There's the Braves defensively. Minor Benincourt, Freeman, Hake Peterson, Johnson, Simmons, Johnson, and Minor, the pitcher. They're ready at Turner Field, and Ben Rivera will be the batter, batting at 232. In the series, he's two for nine. And the first pitch is up high for a ball. One ball and no strike. Yeah, oh, it's past the first baseman, Freeman, and in the right field, we'll see how they score it. Kind of took a funny hop off of Freeman. Rivera's on first. They will score a base hit. Here's Chase Sutley is batting at 270. Four home runs and 15 RBI. Ali fouls it, no balls and one strike. Popped him up, third baseman. He will put it away and that is out number one. He'll bring up there Ruff. Ruff, a 357 hitter. He's batting third tonight. And the Phillies change their lineup with the right and left handed hitters. Skyed in the right field, playable. And it will be two outs. There's Adrian Beltre. He's looking for his 400th home run. That is a strike, 0-1. Beltre looking for career home run number 400. Took him a while to get the four home runs this season. One and one. Inside, two balls and one strike. Oh. 
Three and one to count. Brandon Jordan waits on deck. Beltre hits it to shortstop, will throw on a second for the out, and that'll end the inning for the Phillies. As they get one hit, they leave one left. They're in the bottom of the first. Braves coming to bat. Here's the Braves starting a lineup. As I go with Jace Peterson. Nick Marquez, Freddie Freeman, Chris Johnson, Anderson Simmons, Kelly Johnson, Melvin Upton Jr., and Chris Benincourt. And they'll go up against Ethan Martin. Martin's 0-1. He pitched five innings his last start. Struck out three, walked three. It was on the road. We'll see what he does today. It's Jace Peterson, the batter for the Braves. Second baseman, Jace. Tries to bunt his way on, missed it, that's strike one. No balls and one strike to Peterson. Oh, and two. Ball with two strikes. It's on the right side and it's two for a base hit. So Marquez is a leadoff base runner here in the first. Nick Marquez. Got it. Bounced it right down there. Marquez just bounced to the right side for a base hit. Raise their leadoff man on. Oh, and one to count. Ethan Martin with that great fastball. It's a foul. Ball and two strikes. He's got a quick wind up. Foul, two balls and two strikes. Live ball to left field is pretty well hit. This ball will be caught by Paul in front of the warning track. He's one out here in the first. And it will bring up Freddie Freeman, batting at 175. Freeman has five home runs and 12 RBIs. Low, the ball's in one strike. The first pitch strikes. Are very good as outside. One ball and one strike. So one to count.
Leads it foul. Two and two. There's a strikeout. And it is two down here in the first. It's Chris Johnson, the third baseman, batting at 237. This series is one for eight with a strikeout. That is a strike. Balls and two strikes. One and two. Fly ball left field, Xavier Paul. That'll retire the Braves here in the first. They get a hit, they leave one, and we go to the second, no score. At the one and the play is a nothing nothing game. Upcoming broadcast of Phillies baseball, including the series in the Mets game, all games will be on the video game network. All three games of the New York Mets. Here's Brandon Jordan, and Jordan takes a ball, one ball and no strikes. They've been off the network for a couple days. On, Phillies and Mets will be on Video Game Network. No. Two balls and no strikes. Inside, three and nothing. Oh, Salvador no Perez waits on deck. Perez at a grand slam home run. In the first game of the series, that is foul. Short and batting fifth tonight. And that is ball four. So Jordan is a leadoff base runner here in the second. And I'll break up Salvador Perez batting at 194. Two home runs, 15 RBIs. Perez takes a strike as 0-1. Oh, oh, oh. oh, and two to count now. Oh, and ball on two strikes. Two and two. Three balls. Two we'll count now to Perez. So Miner is in a little trouble. Three balls and two strikes on Salvador Perez. Guide in the center field. And Upton will make the catch. I'll bring up Xavier Paul batting at 324. Yes, it will. That'll retire the Phillies here in a second. No runs. No hits. One left. No, none left. We got to the bottom of the second. No score. Here 
is Angelton Simmons. He's batting at 271 with one home run. Simmons, one ball and no strikes. Ethan Martin in his second major league game. He's a one run off of Martin, and he picks it up and recovers and throws out Simmons. And Simmons is whipping a little bit. He's trying to shake it off. Lays out the trainers, it's Kelly Johnson. Ready to get 205. Oh. Little half swing over the second base for Utley. And that's two outs. Well, he did a little half swing and just pops it up and the second base. Here's Upton. And that is a ball. Upton batting at 0 91. Fly ball. Left field. And Xavier Paul puts it away. A quick inning for Martin. The Braves go in order. We go to the third. No score. Here's Freddie Galvis playing shortstop today for Andre Blanco. Pitches outside, one ball and no strikes. Foul, one and one. <laughs> off a minor to third base, and Gavis is thrown out. That ricocheted off a minor and deflected to third base. And minor is much Here's Ethan Martin. He's okay. Last play is 1-5-3. Martin batting at 500. Inside, one ball and no strikes. Fly ball, that ball's pretty well hit. The deep right field, Marquette gets his going back and he makes the catch. Oh, that ball gave it a pretty good ride, but Marquette just put it in. It looked like that ball was gonna leave. And it's two outs here in the third inning. That almost was a home run. Here's Ben Rivera. But they are single this first time up. And when they takes a strike, it is 0 and 1. And they pops it up. Chris Johnson there. And they'll put it away. And that'll retire the Phillies. They go in order here in the third. You go to the bottom of the third, there's no score. Here's Christian Bettencourt batting at 316. One ball and no strikes. Two and zero. Okay. 
Two balls and one strike. Three balls, one strike. Three and one. Mike Miner waiting on deck. And he walks Benham Court. Here's Mike Miner. Uh, 125 batting average. He does have two RBIs this season. A bunch of foul. Squares the bunt again. Nice bunt. It was dropped and it's offline. Everybody is safe. The throw was off the mark. It brought rough off the bag. And Salvador Perez, not a good throw. He he hesitated a little bit. He threw it over Darren Ruff. So it'll be an error on Perez. Two on, nobody out for Jace Peterson. And low, one ball and no strikes. Remember Martin debuted against the Cardinals. He ended up losing. Oh, that ball's hammered to right field. That ball's pretty well hit, and it is caught by Jordan. And a runner from second will advance to third. Christian Benefort, Miner still at first base. Break up Nick Markakis, he's 0 for 1. Markakis fouls it, no balls and one strike. There you go, yes he did. 0-2. Oh One ball and two strikes. Oh. Two and two to count. Strike. Marquez is out on strikes. Two down in the third. Uh, bring up Freddie Freeman. Struck out in the first. Just one strike to Freeman. Died in the center field. That's Ben Rivera. And they'll put it away. And that'll retire the Braves here in the third. No runs, no hits. They leave two left. Matt Vasquez comes your way in the fourth after three. No score. Stepping in now, Freddie Galvis. Now a liner caught out there by Simmons. And that will become out number two. Just a tough break right there. Not much you can do about that one. This ball is a laser, but it's right at his man. And that forces the guy to hold on at third with two away now. Standing in now, Ethan Martin fouled straight back. Come set, now the pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball in amongst the spectators. He's ready, now the pitch. 
And this is hit hard on the ground at first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. One left for Philadelphia. Halfway home, still no score. Melvin Upton Jr. will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. And here's the first pitch. And, oh, he can't get out of the way of that one, so the leadoff man will be on to open the frame. Well, in a tie game, that leadoff hitter, he knows he has to get on. Probably didn't quite have this in mind, but I have a feeling he'll take it. Christian Bethencourt will stand in. He drew base on balls his first time. Here's the first pitch to him. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. Pause. Now the pitch. Swing and a grounder fouled. And that almost took the first base coach along with it. A runner at first with no outs here. Has a look, now the pitch. Inside as that perhaps will back him off a bit, one and two. He is definitely not a guy that's gonna back down out there. Right after the hit by pitch, he comes right back inside. The one, two. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. And the hope was that he would have chased one of those pitches, but now on two and two, I don't think you fool around anymore. Nobody out, runner on first. The two, two. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. We'll take another look at the sequence here on show track. Now as we watch, notice that it's all hard stuff through the first four pitches. But then on pitch number five, he finally turns to something off speed and that leaves the hitter with no chance. Into the box now, Mike Miner. Bun attempt is popped into foul ground. From the belt, the pitch. And they will have him bunting with one away as he gets this one down. And you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that. The sacrifice works to perfection. And in a tie ball game, this is not a surprise to see the pitcher putting one down here with one away. Now at least to give your leadoff man a chance to bring in that go-ahead run with two outs. Jace Peterson will dig in now. A single and a fly out for him in two trips thus far. Now the first pitch. Oh, and that one slung through the strike zone that time at 98, 0 and 1. Two out here and a runner at second. He's set, now the pitch. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Yeah, and when that pitch starts off outside, it's much easier to get a better view of it and then just lay off. Here comes the 1-1. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. There's not a whole lot of conviction in that swing. It was almost like an afterthought, like an emergency hack. Here comes a 1-2. Now a pitch popped up. Should be enough room for Perez behind the plate. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire the side. One left for Atlanta. Sixth inning coming up. Still zip, zip. Ben Revere will lead it off here for Philadelphia to be followed on deck by Chase Utley. Number two, Ben Revere. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt, the first pitch. 
And he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at-bat. It's ball one. Not too many strikeouts on the ledger for him so far, but it hasn't really mattered. Yeah, I think ideally you'd like to see him miss a few more bats, but as long as you're keeping guys off balance and you're letting your defense help you, you don't need to strike a ton of guys out to be successful. And a strike to even the count. One and one. And that has been the comfort zone so far in this outing. He's just lived on that outside corner, and it's paid big dividends for him. And the 1-1 one -one is in the air now out to center. And he will run this one down, moving to his right, and that's the first out of the inning. I think we expected to see a well-pitched game coming in, and, and we got one. It's starting to look like the team who scores first might be the one who wins. Chase Utley will stand in now, hoping to get on top of one for a change. He's popped out in successive plate appearances. First pitch coming. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Utley awaits the 1-0. 2-0 now. Two really close pitches to kick off this at bat. Normally this guy would be all over him, but he's shown some discipline here with two good takes. Hitters count 2-0. 3-0 now. Now that he's worked at the 3-0, he's got a couple of free pitches here to pick out one he really likes. Here it comes, the 3-0. And no doubt about this one, it's in there, 3-1. and one. Yeah, a much better pitch there than the one he threw on 2-0. and oh. The 3-1 coming. And Utley's able to reach base as he takes a look at ball four. Mm, tough take there on 3-1. and one. I mean, if this pitch missed the inside corner, it did not miss by much. But he's going to reach base anyway. Darren Ruff will stand in again. He's flown out in each of his first two plate appearances thus far. He's ready now. The pitch. Runner goes for second. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Runner's on first with one down. He's set. Now the pitch. Now here's Ruff getting around on one. In the air. Out to deep left field. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. Third baseman number 29. Well, this is really a laser right here. You're going to see it pretty much go right over his head out there and left, and it'll one-hop the left field wall. That's going to allow his man to cruise into second with an easy double. And so now the Braves will get both a left-hander and a right-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. Here's the third baseman, Adrian Beltre. Hard hit to the left side, but taken in out there at short. Had him played perfectly that time, and there are two gone now. Uh, it's pretty clear they weren't pitching around him there. Even though he's a big-time run producer, they came right at him, and he couldn't drive either one of those guys in. Brandon Jordan will dig in. 0 for 1 here in this one. And there's the fourth wide one, so they'll go after the next guy with a force at any base here and two men gone. Now batting, catcher, Salvador Perez. Salvador Perez will get a chance here in one of the bigger spots in the ball game thus far. Base is loaded now with two away. First offering on the way. And a bouncing ball, foul.
Comes set. Now the pitch. And this is high, a ball and a strike. You got to say, for a strikeout pitcher, not too many strikeouts here so far. And he's in a big need of one right here. It would definitely come in handy. Two out, bases loaded. Perez waiting on the 1-1. One -one. Called strike on the inside, and he can't believe it at the plate. It's 1-2 and two now. And the Phils know that one key hit here could make a big impact on the outcome of the ball game. Big pitch here, one and two. Swing, and he pops him up. And this should get him out of it. Peterson is there as he makes the catch, and they'll tightrope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded. A couple of walks, but no damage. The three of us return with more Wednesday Night Baseball after this. Nick Markinkis will be the batter as we get things going in the bottom of the sixth. Now the first pitch. And this one runs up high, ball one. Now the 1-0. And maybe a little frustrated on the mound here as the fastball misses for ball two now. Here comes the 2-0. Outside and low, 3-0. and uh, And all of a sudden, he's looking a little jittery out there to start the sixth. Here it comes, 3-0. And that one misses, so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the sixth. And for as hot as this guy's been recently, this is a no-brainer take the bat out of his hands any chance you get. Freddie Freeman will stand in now. He struck out and flied out 0 for 2 thus far. Now some action in the Phillies bullpen as a right-hander begins to crank it up out there. Here's the first offering. First pitch of the A.B. is swung on and lifted in the air to straightaway center. Therefore it is Revere. One away. And into his sixth inning of work now. Let's take a look at the breakdown for him, so Chris Johnson will dig in. 0 for 2. He's flied out and popped out so far. First pitch coming. Starts him with a good rising fastball there for strike one. The boys has 99 right through him. He waits. Now the pitch. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Well, one thing we've seen from this guy on the mound so far, when he makes bad pitches, they typically miss out of the strike zone. They don't miss in the zone where they can be crushed. Johnson awaits the 1-1. One, one. And this one runs a little too far in. Ball two. Here he comes on two and one. There he goes. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to two and two now. Two-two pitch on the way. And this is going to be fouled into the diamond level seats. Now the two-two pitch. In the air to right center. Jordan is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. The shortstop, number 19, Andrew Sanders. 
Kendrelton Simmons will stand in again. A couple of ground outs for him on the ledger in his two trips so far. Now here's the first pitch. In there, 0-1. Now the pitch. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. I'll give him this. He's not intimidated up there. That was inside. Close to triple digits. He didn't even flinch. A runner on first with two away. Here's the one-one pitch. Aye. Big breaking ball and a beauty that time. One and two. A strike away now from getting through six shutout innings here, and that's no small feat against this lineup. On, Here's the one two. Fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. Here's another one two. And a slider called strike three as he couldn't pull the trigger, and the side is retired. Brave strand one, and this is still a nothing, nothing ballgame. And Paul fouls it off. No balls and one strike to Paul. Scoreless game here in the seventh inning. No balls and two strikes. Minor and Ethan Martin still in there. Good pitching matchup here tonight. Miner has thrown 78 pitches. Ball strikes out. There's one down here in the seventh inning. There's Freddie Galvis. A strike, 0 and 1. Phillies trying to take the rubber game of this three game series. Back through the middle to the second baseman. Galvez is thrown out. One down hit, two down here in the seventh. Miners thrown 81 pitches. At a seven pitch third inning, his most pitches he saw was in the sixth. Oh, he's thrown 19. Here's Ethan Martin. He will bat. And a scoreless game. Both pitchers are pitching well to leave him in there. One strike to Martin. Oh, and two. Pop foul. Is it playable? Yes, it is. Martin is retired out in the inning for the it's Phillies. He goes to the bo seven bottom seven of the strikes. seventh for stretch time. There's no score. It's Kelly Johnson. He popped up twice. Martin's a, Martin has only given up one hit, and that was back in the first batter of the first inning. One ball and no strikes. He has walked a couple and hit a batter. One ball and one strike. One and two. Two balls and two strikes. Got him. Martin's willing and dealing tonight. One down there in the seventh. Up next for Atlanta. Center fielder, Melvin Upton Jr. 
There's Melvin Upton. On strike to Upton. Martin has thrown 86 pitches. Get that bullpen a rest here. One and one. That is Utley, a nice play. Throws out Upton. That is two down. Here's Christian Benecourt. One strike. strike. Two balls and two strikes. Got him. Ethan Martin dealing here. We go to the eighth. We're still scoreless. It's Ben Revere, Craig Kimball up in the Braves bullpen. Both pitches can pitch all night. Revere bunt says a pop bunt. They'll pick the pick it up. Minor won't get Revere. What a bunt single for Ben Revere. The second baseman, number 26, Chase Upley. Your attention, please. And they'll get Jose Bears up. Now pitching and batting in the seventh spot. Number 52, Jose Bears. Now playing center field and batting in the ninth spot. Number 26, Eric Young. Bears 1 0 in 15 games. Eric Young Jr. will come in to play center field. He will bat in the ninth spot here. So a lot. A couple of changes for the Braves. As the Braves trying to get a run here. Ada Rivera, it's five of five. And stolen the base this season. That ball said foul one and one. Two strikes to Utley. Two and two. Ball gets away from Benicourt. Rivera will move up to second. So wow, pitch by Varis. Rivera moves up to second base. Full count now on Utley. He's trying to get on or knock in the run here. Ball four, he walked him. So that puts two on and nobody out. And it will bring up Darren Ruff. Andre Blanca will come in the game, into the game to pinch run for Utley. 
Darren Ruff is the batter. He doubled in the six. Now the Braves have uh, James Russell up in the bullpen now. One strike to Ruff. be a double play ball on the second from one back to first an easy double play there moves up to third with two outs <laughs> Phillies were shut out in the first eight innings in last night's game here's Adrian Beltre now they got Jim Johnson up in the bullpen Beltre ground the first, and the Phillies waste two on, and nobody out, and don't score anything. We go to the bottom of the eighth, no score here in Atlanta. Your attention, please. This change for the Phillies. Andres Blanco will now play second, second base, base for Utley. Number four, Andres Blanco. And Eric Young Jr. will be the batter now. He's in the ninth spot. Eric Young had a good game yesterday. Young butts it up. Good butt, but a good throw by Beltre to get Young. And the Braves still only have one hit in this game. And Ethan Martin would have been frustrated if he didn't get the leadoff hit in the first. He'd have been pitching a no-hitter by now. That is foul. Oh. Uh, thing is, you can't keep Ethan Martin in the game forever until he's on score run. But he's pitched well. One ball and two strikes. He has thrown 97 pitches. Another foul. Fly ball in the left field. Playable. Beltre will squeeze it. Two outs. Hey, you see the line score is Nick Marcakis. He walked in the six. Hundred pitches to Martin. There's one ball and no strikes. No. Two and out. Two balls, no strikes. Phillies have nobody up in the bullpen. Three and zero. Freddie Freeman on deck now. He went three and one. Hundred and three pitches thrown by Martin. Sky in the air. And played by Galvez and that'll end the inning. No score as we go to the ninth. Here's Brandon Jordan, James Russell in the bullpen. Jordan has walked twice. Right fielder, Brandon Jordan. Oh. Ball and no strikes. Jordan fouls it one and one. Two and one to count. Right. 
Two balls and two strikes. Four count, Salvador Perez on deck. Jordan in the right field. That's going to go all the way to the wall. Jordan's going to end up at second. He's going to try for three. He's going to get there standing up. So Brandon Jordan, a leadoff triple. The Phillies with the go-ahead run at third base. And nobody out. And they'll bring up Salvador Perez. A big hit for Brandon Jordan. Brandon Jordan needed that one. He walked twice. He was 0 for 1. Gets a big hit. And a knife, but he's got to bring that run home. Perez, he doubled in the fifth inning. Trying to knock this run in for the Phillies. They squeeze, and Jordan is going to score. What a squeeze play by Sandberg. They set that up perfectly. The Phillies lead it one to nothing here in the ninth. How about it? Left fielder. On a sack bunt squeeze by Salvador Perez. James Russell will be the new pitcher here. Here's Xavier Paul. One out and nobody on. So the Phillies get that all important run. And runs have been hard to come by here. One ball and no strikes. So the question is, do you keep Martin into the game and have him finish it off, or do you bring in the closer? Ground ball. Oh, Simmons can't handle it. It'll be a base hit for Xavier Paul. And they'll bring Jim Johnson into the game. The Braves going into their bullpen a lot. Freddy Galvis will be the batter. Runner goes and that is foul. Side in the air. And caught by Simmons. Two down. Ethan Martin will back for himself. And now they're going to bring in Dominic Brown. So Ethan Martin's day is over. He only gave up one hit, and that was the leadoff batter in the first inning. And that's it. Here's Dominic Brown. Brown to the first baseman. That'll retire the Phillies here in the ninth. Phillies get a run in the inning. On two hits. They leave one. We go to the bottom of the ninth. Phillies lead it one to nothing. Your attention, please. John the Pat Mabow will come in the pitch. He's 0-1 in 11 games. He saved nine. A 3.60 ERA, six strikeouts, and four walks. Here's Freddie Freeman will be the batter. Did he go? No, one ball and no strikes. It looked like he went. Nope. Two and nothing. Three balls and no strikes. Chris Johnson waits on deck. Got that over. Three and one. Thank <laughs> you. 
Full count now. So after throwing three balls, Pepplebine makes the count four. Bounced up there. That is a tough play for Papelbon, and he gets Freeman. Nice play by Papelbon, one down in the ninth. And they'll bring up Chris Johnson. He's over three. Braves can't buy a hit in this one. That is foul. A ball and one strike. Ooh. Had a big cut, but he fouled it. Third strike, he got him. Two down there in the ninth inning. And I'll bring up Angelton Simmons. He struck out in the sixth. Strike one. That is a base hit in the right field. The Simmons is on with two outs. Now back, left fielder, Kelly Johnson. Here's Kelly Johnson. Bond trying to get out of this inning with a save and Ethan Martin's first win of the season. One ball and no strikes. Two and oh. Jim Johnson on deck. That's only the Braves' second hit of the game. It's three balls and no strikes. He walked and it puts two on, two outs. Ryan Sandberg is A.J. Przinski. Sandberg holding his breath. They're going to get Pedro Serraco the pinch rudder for the Braves. Two on, two outs. Krasinski the batter. One strike to Krasinski. Side one and one. Yeah. 
One and two now. Krasinski strikes out. Jonathan Papelbon preserves a one nothing victory. And Ethan Martin picks up his first Major League win of the season. Ethan Martin only gave up one hit in this game. That was way back in the first inning. By Jace Peterson. But other than that, he walked a couple hit up batsmen but pitched a shutout. And the Phillies win this game by the score of one nothing. Papelbon had trouble in the ninth, but got out of it by finally striking out A.J. Krasinski. Ethan Martin, eight strong innings, one hit, two ball, two walks, six strikeouts. Brandon Jordan with a single. And Ethan Martin is the player of the game. So the Phillies will come back to Citizens Bank Park and they will host the New York Mets for three. All games will be on the Video Game Network. So you won't miss any action there. Final score, the Phillies won. The Braves nothing. We'll talk to you next time on the Phillies YouTube Network.